Confused about diesel engine strokes, cycles, valves and injectors? In this video we're going to explain it all. Hi, I'm Denison, creator of Marine Diesel Basics, the first visual guide to marine diesel systems. Welcome aboard, let's get started. On our beautiful boat we have our trusty diesel engine with its cylinders and pistons, literally the heart of the motor. The head of the cylinder houses the injector and two valves. The injector controls when and how much diesel gets sprayed into the cylinder. This is done through a nozzle that atomizes the fuel into a mist into mist-like particles. The exact pattern of the spray depends on the engine design and manufacturer. In a direct injection engine, the fuel is sprayed directly into the cylinder, just above the piston. In an indirect engine, the fuel is fired into a pre-combustion or swirl chamber. The purpose of the swirl chamber is to make sure the fuel and air mix really well and quickly. Pre-combustion is more common on older model engines. The engine needs air containing oxygen to burn the diesel and this is controlled by the intake valve. After the fuel has burned, the exhaust gases have to be able to escape from the cylinder and this is controlled by the exhaust valve. The intake and exhaust valves look much the same, but the intake valve is generally larger than the exhaust valve. Remember, everything is happening very quickly. At 2500 RPM or 2500 revolutions of the crankshaft per minute, the air intake valve is moving and closing 20 times every second, and the injector is firing 1250 times every minute. Diesel engines traditionally have been thought of as heavy and noisy, yet their internal parts must move with astonishingly precise timing. In a four-stroke diesel engine, the piston makes four strokes while the engine makes two revolutions and the injector fires once. Let's take a closer look. Just before the piston reaches the top of the upstroke, the intake valve opens. 20% oxygen in the air flows into the cylinder as the piston moves down. This is called the intake or suction stroke, though actually the air is being pushed inside by the atmospheric air pressure outside. Just after the piston reaches the bottom of its first stroke, the intake valve closes, and as the piston comes back up, the air inside gets super compressed. This is called the compression stroke. In diesel, the ratio of compression is about 20 to 1, so a piston moving up 5 inches will compress all the air into one quarter of an inch at the top of the cylinder, hot enough to ignite diesel fuel. And that's what happens next. Just before the piston gets to the top of the compression stroke, the injector sprays atomized mist of diesel fuel into the cylinder. The compressed air is about 600 degrees Celsius, and ignites immediately. The air expands as the fuel burns the oxygen, pushing the piston down. For good reason, this is called the power stroke. It might also be called the work stroke, because it's the downward stroke of the piston, pushed by the rapidly expanding gases, that turns the crankshaft and moves the boat through the water via the propeller. Just before the piston reaches the bottom of the power stroke, the exhaust valve opens. It's important to give as much time as possible to clear all the exhaust gases out of the cylinder. The exhaust gases get pushed out as the piston moves back up with the exhaust valve open. No surprise, it's called the exhaust stroke. Just for a moment, both valves are open at the top of the exhaust stroke. This is called valve overlap. Then the exhaust valve closes while the intake valve is still open and then we're back where we started filling the cylinder with air rich with oxygen. So there we are, four strokes in two rotations of the crankshaft. Intake stroke, piston moving down, air coming in. Compression stroke, piston moving up, air getting compressed. The injector sprays fuel. The power stroke, piston going down, gases expanding and the crankshaft turning. 
exhaust stroke, piston moving up, gas is being pushed out, and now diesel works happily and reliably. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and head over to my Patreon page for as little as $3 a month. You can become a patron and help me translate these videos into multiple languages. And until next time, I wish you fair winds and a reliable diesel.